Hi there, this is Kadira of Fiber Fancies. Today I'm sharing with you this lovely little journal that I made. I got inspired by Pam of the Paper Outpost and she had made a journal using those newsprint advertising that you get for your local market and I decided to use a newspaper I had which I cover with paper instead of fabric, which is what Pam had used. So I wanted to take you on the little adventure here. So this is a velvet cord that I have that I tied around the journal. And I have this gorgeous gold trim on the binding. That's the back side. And then there's a flap here that I cover with some contact paper. This cover is actually made from a oversized white envelope that I cover with this paper and then the inside pages are made from newspaper. So let's take a look. I used an image from a art instruction book on painting flowers for this pocket and this was part of a greeting card, so it's just blank on the back. Aren't these just gorgeous papers? This is another greeting card I used. I love the way it's cut out here. And then I put in these beautiful bookmarks. You can cut them apart or use them as they are. I love the peacock and the, I believe, crocuses. And then the background, I used another greeting card image. Actually, no, that's the inside of this one. So I just closed it up and made it into a pocket. All right, then. So some of these pages are made from a paper bag, as you can see, and some are made from newsprint. This is another greeting card that I made a pocket and this gorgeous card. So I decorated the inside with a sticker to make a pocket and another little piece of greeting card for a place to journal on the inside. And uh, this corner need a little reinforcement so that was part of an envelope that I used. I love recycling common objects that I have and I have gotten a whole ton of greeting cards from a neighbor of mine who received many 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 cards in the mail from different charities that she supported and she shared with me. This is another beautiful piece of paper cut out from a piece of paper I had in my collection backing this paper bag and I ironed the paper bag to get all as many wrinkles out as I could and then we have this lovely paper and I doctored up another greeting card I'm going to put this down to show you this beautiful greeting card I added these flowers from another card and then inside, I've added some pages that you can write or draw on, and this little composite. So that goes back in this pocket. It's all hand-stitched. This is another paper from my collection, my stash. I just left it blank. It would be a place you could glue down a photograph or you could add a poem, a painting, anything you wish into this beautiful little journal. More blank paper for writing and drawing, pasting and photographs. This is a gorgeous piece of fabric, uh, excuse me, of paper that I found at a thrift store. And I put another card inside that with these beautiful hydrangeas and I had a hydrangea sticker you can see it's a little bit 3d and that opens and you can 
Use it as a greeting card or simply write or draw on it, whatever your heart desires. And I love the butterflies on this paper. Let me turn the page and we're getting to the newspaper section. So again, this is cut out from that art instruction book. And I had this little flower to add, a little piece of paper that I charred the edges with a match. A little bit dangerous to do. And this is um, just a composite, no pocket or anything, but there is a pocket here. Oh no, that's the hydrangea. Never mind. Anyway, and then we have this gorgeous bluebird that I cut out of another um, greeting card. And look at that. More bluebirds. So again, a little tiny scrap can be used to write or draw. And then we turn the page. There's more of that green paper. And this one has a, another pocket with a card inside. And it will come out, I promise. Oh no, it's not a card. I haven't put anything in it. That's why it just has this lining. Okay, I need to put something in it or leave it open for someone else to add. And this is another greeting card that I found. And this is a card I made from a page from a magazine. Isn't that beautiful? And I added some teddy bear stamps. You can see there. And then on the back, miracles happen to those who believe. And then some music paper. There's so much space for writing or drawing or adding photographs as you desire. Okay. Another, oops. This is another piece of paper I found at the thrift store when I found the green. There were just two loose sheets of paper that um, I got for, I don't know, 10 cents or something. And it is so beautiful, I didn't add any embellishment to this couple of pages. Okay, turning the page, we have another beautiful, I think that is an Oriole bird, and another greeting card I put in the middle, which is blank inside. More music paper in the back. More images from the journal, I mean the art instruction book. And then we have, and I covered that with white paper. Then I put in a couple of envelopes with beautiful greeting cards. You can use to write, a, send it as a greeting card or you can um, just use it as another journaling place. On this lovely envelope, I added some ribbon trim and I put this journal inside so it has that, just a note, and I added some blank paper to draw or write. I have so much fun creating these journals and I hope that you will have uh, an enjoyment filling it up. Then we have another piece of paper from my stash. Again, I left it blank to write or draw on. More of the paper bag. And these are a couple of pockets. So there's a pocket here and a pocket here. And I decided to leave them empty so that Whoever buys this journal can put whatever they want into there. And the last page isn't this gorgeous. This was a cutout from a magazine. It's some bedding 
that I found was exquisite with this beautiful pillow. Um, the window over here, the window trim, and then I put in a part of another greeting card. Um, that's the more cut out from the magazine. So, what a fun adventure this was to use different materials that I'm familiar with using, including magazine pages, newspaper, and paper bag. And then this is the other side of the white envelope that I made the journal cover with. And I put, I did put something in here. Come out, come out. There we go. Another beautiful card. Come on, get in there. All right. And then I used a little of this orange paper to line the inside of the envelope flap and it closes up like that. So thank you so much for watching. This is, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to call this, my uh, soft-sided journal because it's very it is very soft-sided. There's no cardboard in this, as I have in many of my other journals. If you wish to purchase this, you may go to my website, fairyfiberfancies.com. Go to the Musings page, and I will post this with the um, size and the price. I will I put those that information on every photograph in my website, all you need to do is click on any photograph to see prices and specs. And when I sell something, I mark it sold. It's, uh, it's always a good idea to ask just to make sure, because once in a while I have missed writing something is sold. If you go to the shop, the boutique page, you can fill out the form to place your order. I really appreciate comments, sharing, and people subscribing to my website. Thank you so much for watching, and have a glorious day. Bye for now.